Okay, everybody, in this pro analysis lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the Andy Murray serve, and in particular, the role that the left hand plays with Andy, because I think it's a little deceptive. So when I talk about serves with people, technically speaking, I have these nine checkpoints I like to see people go through. Number one being the rituals, number two, the weight transfer, and so on and so forth. And in each of these nine checkpoints, there's some technical things to look at, like you know, grip-wise and, and kind of technique-wise. Now the thing about Andy Murray's serve is I think a lot of players uh, misunderstand what's happening with the left hand in particular. So typically if I'm facing the camera, the left hand will go up. You'll see that the shoulders are kind of stacked. You know, they're not exactly level like this. They're stacked and that's common. But as the, the swing goes up, it's really kind of an exchanging of the hands. Okay, it's not this one first, that one second. These things happen kind of simultaneously. So to do the left hand properly, it should be tucking in towards the, the chest here, kind of like a baseball pitcher or the typical throwing motion that happens almost all the time. The problem is with Andy Murray's serve, he has a peculiar little idiosyncrasy that when he's finished, his hand is way back here. So it looks like this is actually part of his motion. But I'm going to show you when you look closely that even Andy Murray will take that left hand exchange and it comes in here, the serve is done, and then this happens, but not right away. It's the tuck first. And this is more or less a part of his counterbalance, which is the last checkpoint of the serve. So Richard Gasquet also does this unique thing with his left arm, but if you look closely, it's really important that you get that part right. The roll of the left arm, particularly as the right arm goes forward, needs to tuck in. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this high def footage of Andy in action and see for yourself what you can tell. Okay, so I'm going to show you now what I was talking about with Andy Murray and the roll of his left arm. I think with Andy in particular, a lot of things are misunderstood. So you can see we're picking him up here mid-swing, and you watch his left arm, and it does tuck in. It tucks in towards the chest, towards the waist. You can see it tucking, tucking, tucking. So I'm, I'm talking about this right here. But when it comes to Andy Murray, a lot of people forget that view, and they have this vision of what he does uh, which I think is part of his counterbalance and his left arm now shows up way back here you can see it right there so they see Andy they see a serve they see this as far as the left arm and they assume that the racket goes or his left arm goes straight there but in reality if you look closer Andy does tuck you know his left hand will come in you can see it right there real clearly his elbows collapsing his left arm is coming in towards the rib cage and then only after the serve is done and he's landed, this is more of a personal uh, preference where his racket comes way out there. And this is the image people see, and I think they erroneously believe that he does not tuck his uh, left arm towards his chest when in reality he does. So the other player that does this, there's a few. Uh, Richard Gasquet has a finish that's very similar. But be careful what you're looking at because by just looking at this piece alone and that image, you might get the wrong impression.